So my final question, and that is around the assumptions that people are making for not just your company, but for the industry at large around the operational metrics for the year. Now, post your numbers coming out, almost all analysts are penciling in lower EBITDA margins from your end for a better part of for FY24 and some part of FY25 as well. Now, it's too long a time frame, I reckon, to judge because it's a very choppy and volatile environment. I'm still trying to understand from what you've clocked in in quarter three, Mr. Rao, do you reckon things can stabilize at these levels or is there a chance of some more downside on the operational metrics or the margins front? Margins lower means with reference to what we are comparing the margins. That is what is important. Hmm. If you compare the margins uh, for the last financial year, which was exceptional year, yeah. it's not only steel, JW Steel and every steel company made exceptional uh, margins last year. So those margins, is it possible to reach again? No, oh, I don't think so. It is possible. But if you ask me Q3 EBITDA or Q2 EBITDA or Q1 EBITDA per ton, if you look at it, there is a huge scope for improving our EBITDA margins in future, notwithstanding the steel prices may not go up further. Why I'm saying so is that one is a rich product mix. We have commissioned a huge amount of downstream units. It's almost close to 12 million tons of downstream we have. And that facilities will be fully available to us. That's one. Number two, our capacities are going up. So our fixed cost per ton will come down. Number two. Number three is uh, the, the facilities we created on cost reduction side, either iron ore mining uh, equipment, or uh, if we say cocoa one plant, we have commissioned at Vijayanagar or the power plants at Dolby, all these cost reducing projects, our costs will come down uh, substantially because of these projects. So one side cost reduction will happen, another side product mix enrichment is happening, third is volumes are coming in. With that, I think there is a scope for uh, improving the uh, EBITDA margins, uh, what we have seen in the past, uh, even though the steel, steel prices uh, remain stable. Okay, so at, so at, at, at around, whether we take EBITDA per ton or EBITDA margins reported of 11.6%, I'm not taking into account the 29%. But I'm saying from the 11.5% that you've talked in in quarter three, you reckon if anything, there's a scope for these to move up as opposed to coming off over the course of the year as an average. Correct. And one more important point is we have exceptional losses also in this year, like FX loss, rupee depreciated by 7 rupees per ton. And also mm -hmm. inventory losses because fall in steel prices and raw metal prices, we had taken a huge amount of inventory loss. Total together for nine months was 4,350 crores. It is a huge sum. This won't be there in future. So to that extent, uh, EBITDA margins, I think, is to be re restated, adding to actual EBITDA which we have got, plus these losses uh, which will not be there in future. That itself get reinstated, plus the additional uh, which can come in because of product mix and cost reduction.